Hello, I'm Tom Campbell. In 1972, I was a full-time applied physicist by day and a part-time consciousness researcher by night and on weekends. As a physicist, I specialized in modeling large complex systems within computers. As a consciousness researcher, I defined and explored drug-free altered states of consciousness and investigated the abilities and limitations of consciousness. Eventually, I was able to merge the study and application of both physics and consciousness into one overall model of reality. The result of this research unites the worlds of objective and subjective experience, thus achieving the goal of generating a unified, comprehensive theory of everything, that is a TOE, a TOE, that bridges metaphysics and physics with one scientific understanding. The results of this work are published in the form of the My Big Toe Trilogy and in over 200 YouTube videos of my workshops, conferences, and interviews. The My and My Big Toe does not represent pride of authorship, but rather the fact that in the subjective world of your consciousness, if it's not your experience, it cannot be your truth. The My and My Big Toe is to remind you that you must develop your own big toe from your own experience. The My Big Toe MBT trilogy develops a complete derivation of consciousness. This derivation begins with two assumptions and then proceeds to logically derive all the attributes, limitations, properties, qualities, and mechanics of consciousness and the larger reality. What it is, where it comes from, and how it works. The two assumptions are, one, that consciousness exists just as we experience it, that is, as an information-based, self-aware, self-modifying system, and two, that evolution exists just as we experience it, that is, as a process of natural selection, a process that will, over time, lead a self-modifying system to better accommodate both internal and external environments. From these two assumptions, all the rest unfolds logically. As it turns out, consciousness is fundamental and all else is derived therefrom. Metaphysics, that is, ontology, epistemology, cosmology and theology, and the concepts of God, spirituality, love, morality and free will, as well as human purpose and potential, are all easily derived as logical consequences of the MBT theory of consciousness. Likewise, but more surprising, modern physics is also derived as a logical consequence of consciousness, thus unifying physics and metaphysics as subsets of a single overarching understanding of reality. Many major problems and paradoxes of both physics and metaphysics are solved simply and completely by applying this new perspective. MBT theory accurately predicts the results of scientific experiments and makes new predictions that are experimentally verifiable. It explains the results gathered by the Princeton Engineering Anomalies Research PEAR, laboratory over the last several decades. It explains why and how the placebo effect works, what preceded the Big Bang, the expanding universe, how mental intent can affect physical reality, the origin, nature, and purpose of us, as well as our universe. What happens after we die? Why the speed of light is invariant under the motion of its source, which is the key to deriving relativity, and why particles are actually probability distributions, which is the key to deriving quantum mechanics. MBT theory explains why and how the double-slit experiments and particle entanglement work how and why precognitive dreams and remote viewing work, as well as a host of other long-standing scientific mysteries. The same MBT logic and science that delivers a better understanding of physics also delivers a model of consciousness and a better understanding of metaphysics. Much that is now considered paranormal becomes simply normal, and a foundation of logic is seen to underlie subjective as well as objective experience. Besides all of the above, MBT theory explains and defines love and how and why love is the answer to humanity's most pressing problems. 
It explains what each individual can do to find peace, happiness, and satisfaction in his life. It answers the questions, what is spirituality, and how does one develop it? According to this theory, consciousness, the larger consciousness system, is the source, the core, the creator of everything else. The task set before humanity is to evolve a more cooperative, caring, and compassionate interaction with each other, with other species, and with the Earth itself, to become one larger, more effective system. This drive to implement a cooperative, caring, coming together represents the vector of evolutionary progress within an evolving consciousness system. We feel it as an innate nudge to move away from a more constrained, competitive existence to a freer, more expansive, cooperative one, from being self-focused to being other-focused, that is, moving away from fear, ego, belief, and expectation toward love. This process has been called spiritual growth, increasing the quality or decreasing the entropy of one's consciousness, growing up and living in the big picture within the larger reality of consciousness, and expressing our oneness with all beings within the larger consciousness system. It is a fact that all significant change must be implemented at the individual level. So what can you as individuals do to implement this profound evolutionary metamorphosis? How can you move from being part of the problem to becoming part of the solution? Gandhi said it best, Simply be the change that you want to see in the world.